Hey, welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to finish up by creating our show.blade.php view file. So, with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with by extending our master page. So, that extends layouts master, and what's become pretty common in this tutorial series. So, and at section, target to section, content. And it's all pretty repetitive. But such is the nature of this. So H1, we're just going to say show posts or show post. So we're showing a single post. And we could use our way to go back into the index, which will show all the posts. So link to route, and it's going to be the posts dot index method or file view and the link is going to be return to all posts. Okay, so that's just going to take you back out to the index page. Next we're just going to return a table. And it's going to be the same table we have before, so table table dot striped and table striped. Table bordered, table hugger. These are all bootstrap classes, of course. And in here, we're going to have the T head and TR times uh, three. This first one's going to be author. Next one's going to be title. It's going to be body. And after this, we're going to just have a T body. And we'll have a row, just a single row. We don't have to do a loop because it's just pulling this one um, thing here. So we'll do, let's do TD times six here. So we're going to say the first one, we're going to say posts. Author. Next, we're going to say post title. So, post title. Next, we're going to return to post body. So, post body. Next one give you a way to edit and delete it. So this is gonna be a link to route posts dot edit. Array is gonna be edit. Pass an array with the, this uh, posts ID so array is post ID then we'll give the button a class so we can say array class we'll say button button info info and then our next one we're going to have a form so we can delete it so it's going to be just like the other one so form open and it's going to be an array the method might show up here I'll tell you why right now because we don't have it encapsulated form open array method is delete and the route we're targeting is 
array. That doesn't need to be. You say array and it's posts dot delete or destroy rather. And it's going to be post ID. So the post that's with this ID. You need to add an extra an extra see one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we'll go with that. Now we need our button, so form submit. Delete array and we'll say class button button danger. Next we can form close. And then that's all. So now our application should be complete. We can go ahead and get rid of this other TD. And let's go out and refresh. And there we have our char body. Something's not right here. So let's go back and look and see what we did wrong. Or I did wrong, rather. So they're not TRs, they're THs. So TR TH times three. But y'all caught it before I did. I just wasn't really didn't realize it. So we'll just go to body. Save it like so. Go back out. Refresh. There we go with that. And let's find out why this isn't working looking right. Let's finish it up here. Hello. Table. Table class table. Table strike table blue. And table hover. Refresh. And there we go. So if we hover over it, we get a little thing. Go ahead and edit it. Let's say the best movie ever made. Then update. And there we go. Best movie ever made. We can delete it. Let's try adding some more. So let's say uh, Stephen. Actually, it's Stephen King. Let's see. Same as Lot, which is like my favorite book by him. Let's see, best movie book ever. We'll submit that. Create, add a new post. Let's uh, do. Darth Vader again. Let's say Star Wars. Best movie ever. Uh, let's think something else. Let's add another post. Let's say author. Um, uh, let's say. Spawn Entertainment. So I'm really excited about their new game, Titanfall. Soon to be best game ever. And there we go. So you can see now that we're complete with the, this series. Now we can show one, or we can return back out. We can look at this one and show an individual one. And then we can delete. So delete, delete, delete. So I hope this series helped you understand or give you a better understand how to do CRUD operations using Laravel. And if you have any problems, you can always ask a question in the comment section or follow me on Twitter. And I thank you for watching this series.